Yeah. Ooh, day four, seeing sesame seeds floating around already. Well, I'm ready for Randy. You guys ready for Randy? Yeah. When I say cheeseburger, you say walrus. Cheeseburger. Walrus. Cheeseburger. Walrus. When I say inflatable, you say Elvis. Inflatable. Elvis. Inflatable. Elvis. Well done, shit puppets. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. All the way from Sunnyvale Trailer Park, Randy Bobandy! Sunnyvale Trail Park, welcome to my cheeseburger picnic. It's gonna be an awesome time. How come nobody's wearing a mask? <laughs> Frank, is it? You saying I don't I I was told that I should have a belly mask and it's itchy and spring for my blowhole to protect my blowhole. I, I don't need to wear this stuff? You're saying I can take this off? Alright, we'll say take it off. Take it off! 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 It's coming off! There it is! That was a good freaking protector right there. Oh, the PEI air just hit my nipples <laughs> and my belly. Feels good. Feels good. Okay, shirts off, everybody. Shirts off. And grab your neighbor's nipple. Well, unless you came with your mom or something, don't. You? She might freaking knock you right out. Well, welcome. It's Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. You came out to see Randy and the cheeseburger picnic here on Easter Sunday. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's great. And you guys are just, holy cow, you're good looking. Good looking people. I'm a bisexual. I bang everybody here. Especially you two. And you two. That's two, four. And you two, six, eight. Nine, so that's a nine a gone. Oh, did you meet my friend Shell? Shell is, is a good buddy of mine, and he used to tour with me and Mr. Lee way, way back when was it, 2006, 2007? We had the same agent, and Shell and his brother, they're in a band called the Polly Jesters from Car Stairs, Alberta. And we didn't, Mr. Lee and I didn't know how to do anything. We didn't know how, we didn't have a live show. We just, Basically, got drunk on stage. <laughs> so I smoked my honey. Well, anyway, I, we had the same agent, and the agent said, you know what? Shell and, and, and Jason, his brother, had to look after us and teach us the ways of the road. And I'm not talking raise ways with the piss jugs. I'm talking just how to do things, how to conduct business, because there's no business like show business, everybody. You can get freaked over. All right, but Shell and his brother helped us out. And he sings some real good tunes and plays a real good ukulele, and, and he's my good buddy, so I invited him to come along. So give it up for Shell. <laughs> Way back in the day, you know what? We'd, we'd have a friggin' a tour booked, and we'd be like in Calgary one day, and then like we'd have three, four days off, and then do a show in Edmonton or something. It's like. What the frick, man? You know, hotels are expensive. I had to become smoky. Started to whore myself because I couldn't afford to fly home. And, and Shell said, come stay at my house and I'll cook you some cheeseburgers. He smoked me some burgers, some Alberta beef and stuff. And just was a real good guy. All I had to do was buy him beers and fist them. <laughs> got a pretty, pretty big rectum. Who here has got a big rectum? I know, PEI guys, you guys got big holes. It's, it's, it's good. 
good. There's lots of farmers. Lots of good stuff. Any, any farmers in the house here? None. Okay. <laughs> Charlottetown doesn't farm. Okay. All right. <laughs> Mr. Potato, I guess I know. I, know. I do like PEI potatoes, and I like PEI seafood. I do. I do eat cheeseburgers, hence the cheeseburger picnic, right? Where you come together. You guys are probably like, "What the frig is a cheeseburger picnic?" Right? Cheeseburger picnic is when you get together with a great group of people. That's you guys, right? Fans of the Trailer Park Boys. And what we're gonna do is just tell some jokes, have some laughs, sing some songs, and play some games. Have a good time. What do you think? But I do like some of your seafood. I think I think you have the best muscles out of anywhere in the whole wide world. Yeah. And I've got a tricep. Yeah. That's the only muscle that I have. <laughs> Other than my buttocks. That's it. Check it out. <laughs> Premature jack o' lantern. <laughs> Hel helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Who here's ever watched a guy with no shirt swinging around a balloon like a helicopter for five minutes? <laughs> What'd you do to this Easter? I don't know. It was disturbing, yet really awesome. Good dope, PEI. Yeah, really good dope. That looks kind of like a big vagina. All right, the show's over. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Are there any Trailer Park fans in the house? Anybody? <laughs> really? Holy shit! That's freaking awesome. Who here has seen every episode of Trailer Park Boys? <laughs> no way. You have? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Who can I swear, bud? <laughs> Say Frig. Frig is acceptable. Frig, yeah. Frig, Frig off, Donnie. Donnie's, <laughs> Donnie's back in that corner. That's a shit weasel section out back, I see. <laughs> Well, you guys have watched every every single thing of Trailer Park Boys. Is there anyone here who has not seen Trailer Park Boys? Don't be scared. You can admit it. Everyone has seen Trailer. You've all seen me in my underwear. <laughs> well, that's horse cock. I'm not fighting tonight. You know, I'm in a good mood. It's Easter Sunday, and we're gonna have a good party. So don't you worry. Now, how many people have watched Trailer Park Boys like three times through? <laughs> Get a life. I'm gonna thank you, but that's freaking awesome. And you know, I just gotta gotta say something. I, I think that Mr. Leahy would be pretty proud of me. You guys know Mr. Leahy if you've seen Trailer Park Boys. And uh, you know, him and I did a lot of touring again. I said with Triple Michelle, and we we'd come to to UPEI. We did some shows there and and around the island. And you know what? If it wasn't for his teachings and all the the plays we did at the Blanford Recreation Center. Um, he, we did a lot on Mr. Leahy. He was a, it's, it's, what's he, what do you call it? A, a, a lesbian? No, thespian, I think. Is that, is that not thespian? Theater? Theater. Theater. It's Shakespearean trade. You'd be like, to be or not to be? And I'd say, Mr. Leahy, I like bees, but if there's one in the car, I friggin' let it out. And he'd say, Randy, it's Shakespeare. And I'm like, Shakespeare. Shakespeare's kind of an arsehole. Always going thou art and to they. Doesn't make any sense, right? Who here knows Shakespeare? Anybody? Like, see? He's fucked. He's talking about him. Anyway, Mr. Lady did teach me, you know, how to how to be in front of people and not to be so scared, right? Then that's the thing, because you know, I, I went from weekend trailer park supervisor, now I'm doing a few more duties. And I mean, Mr. Lady was the winner of the IAT, PTP, SAA, TPS. And that's the International Association of Trailer Parks, Trailer Park Supervisors and Assistant Trailer Park Supervisors. That's me. So he was just a great, great man. And uh, that's why I decided to do some cheeseburger picnics. And Shell and I have done about 150 across North America. Now we're back in Canada, right here. 
just started in Fredericton. We did Fredericton, St. John, and we did Moncton, and now we're here. We're here, here for two nights in Charlottetown. And look, I made this nice sign. Check it out. And do you know that was just a tarp that was on my friggin' lawnmower? With some duct tape, and, and I made that. You see? All you gotta do is have a vision, and you could do it, and it doesn't take a lot of money, right? And Mr. Lay would be like, nice sign, Randers. That's a double cheeseburger with sesame seeds. Sheldon right there. Pretty friggin' awesome. Shell, you're friggin' it up every time you take it down, though. It's like all kinds of tape, and they're like, that balloon was from yesterday. The frig. Unbelievable. Anyway, I think what we should probably do is, is do some cheers to Mr. Leahy. I think he'd like that. Charlottetown, will you help me cheers, Mr. Leahy? Oh, yeah. What, what I'll do is I'll say some of the phrases that Mr. Leahy liked to say. I'll say it, and you guys repeat it, and then we can have a drinky poo. Sound good? Okay, Mr. Leahy used to say, Let the liquor do the thinking. Let's come together. <laughs> Tastes like moose piss. <laughs> no, it's light beer, so I won't get fat. Mr. Lee also used to say, the liquor will figure it out. The liquor will figure it out. Nice. It's almost like church. <laughs> oh, and he liked Julian. Julian, you guys know Julian? Yes. Julian with his nice tight t shirts. <laughs> Perfect breasts. <laughs> and those steel blue eyes and that goatee. Such a handsome man. Mr. Lay used to say, 30 sexy days, Julian. 30 sexy days, Julian. Nice. <laughs> Big time. Oh, this one's going down good. <laughs> and his favorite saying, you guys know this, his favorite saying of all time was, I am the liquor. I am the liquor. Yes. To you, Mr. Lane, we love you. Charlottetown loves you. Everyone loves you. We know you're here with us in Seoul. To Mr. Leahy, everybody, thank you. Well done. That was delicious. That was delicious. Holy frick. I think I'm getting drunk on Easter. And we're allowed to eat burgers today, right? Yeah. That's good. I'm glad about that. Because you know what? I brought a few personal burgers. You guys don't have burgers. What the frig? I got a few of my personal burgers here. And I don't normally share my personal burgers. But it's Easter, so I, I kind of feel generous. I think I'm going to share some of my burgers with you guys. Does anybody need a burger? Yeah. Now, I don't have enough for everybody, so if you get one and your neighbor is hungry, you might have to give them a little bitey food. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you okay if you want to share? Why not? Why not? Who needs a <laughs> you got the bread, is it the, the bun is the bread group, and the cheese is the cheese group, and the meat is the meat group, and then you got the pickles and onions on there, and that's the veggies that, that helps, that's roughage fiber, helps you go poo poo. Oh, someone gave us some great maritime sauce, it's maritime madness. Yeah. What's it say? Mustard pickled sandwich sauce. Yeah, Mustard pickled sandwich sauce. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. fancy. Shell, you're all about the sauce, bud. All about the sauce. It's 
That might ruin the friggin' science behind a McDonald's burger. Mickey D's, everybody, right here. Check it out. To you guys, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Oh, good. Here. That's really good. <laughs> wow. All right. You know, I do love cheeseburgers and I love onion rings. And that's why I don't understand why Mickey D's doesn't have any onion rings. That's really, really wrong on many levels, you know? And I like Burger King. They got onion rings. And, and I like A&W the, and the friggin' the, the family of burgers at A&W. They got a new burger coming out. Yeah. I guess uh, the friggin' uncle banged the teen and there's an incest burger. It's different every time. Like, you know, the, the staff take bites out of it and serve it to you. You ask for onions, you get extra. It's just a fucked up, dirty burger. No growth hormones, at least. That's the main thing. But yeah, I used to like Peter Pan burgers on PEI right here in the Oh, funny. It was a Rod's Hotel or something. I think it was the royalty back in the day. Yeah. That was a good place. They put the cheese on the grill and then just put that on the friggin' patty. Oh, man. And then that other cocksucking burger place put them out of business. Yeah. But they're good too, I must admit. But big scale. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Lots of changes in PEI. Things have changed. You guys got rotaries now. Rotaries. Fancy that. You know? I like it. Just keep going round and round and round. <laughs> round and round and round. Oh, you know what else you got? You guys got a Mr. Sub here. Yeah, it's owned out of Petro Canada. That's pretty awesome. Mr. Sub is only in friggin' Ontario, and there's one here and one in Newfoundland. And I don't know, Nova Scotia hates Mr. Sub. And I tried to get a franchise going, they told us, I mean, Frig off, man. <laughs> That's the way it goes. But yeah, I mean, years and years ago, me and Ricky and Julian, we used to live right here in Charlottetown. Yeah, we, we actually had a little business. It was it was a pizza restaurant, J.R. Capone's, and I had a little bar. It was dirty. It was dirty and good. And we catered to the drunk crowd. There was a place called Myron's, and everyone was drunk. First time I saw Great Big C at Myron's. It was the first time. It was wicked. It was awesome. So much fun. You know, and uh, we used to come over here to Prince Edward Island as youngsters, believe it or not, when they liked me. Before, you know, because now they just think, oh, greasy old Randy. In the, in the early days, they liked me. And the drinking age of BEI was 18 years old. And in Nova Scotia, it was 19. So we just would lie about what our age was and come over here and get drunk as fuck. <laughs> so good. So good. And, and the Islanders, you guys always treated us like gold. Seafood and... Actually, the girls even would talk to some of us, and some of the boys, too. Some, some good-looking dudes. Irish. What was it? Our good old Irish guys. Fight, fucking fight. I'm like, drink, fucking fight, I think they used to say. And then they'd smash out our windows. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But yeah, I do have a very fond spot for Prince Edward Island. And it was coming here in the days of the ferry, and now there's the bridge. And today was the first time that, that Shell's been on the Confederation Bridge. And uh, him being from the prairies, was he was amazed. He's like, holy shit, we've been driving on this bridge forever. You know, so then we, we just, we stopped in the middle of the bridge, and they got fucking mad. Yes, we're not supposed to stop. We, we, you know, I got the fishing rod out. And, you know, there was no signs that say no fishing off this bridge. You know? Suckers, freaking truckers beeping at us. We got hit by a piss jug. <laughs> I mean, of course, you gotta pay to get off the island, you know? Come to our island, and then you could never leave if you spend all your money on dope liquor and lobster. That's the way it goes. Unbelievable. All right. I think we should get the show going. I've just been up here babbling. People are sick of me already. You are, are you? my freaking trusty clipboard here it has all my notes on it and i wrote my name on the clipboard and someone got a hold of it and i don't know if you can see it in the back but someone made a cock out of my a and my name like look see so that's a scrotum dude right there and there that's the head of the penis and it looks like there's 
pee or load coming out the end of it. Can't have nothing, you know? You know what that is? That's horse cock is what that is. Let me hear you say it, everybody. Horse cock. Sweet sour chicken balls. Frozen mixed vegetable cocks. Frig off, bird. Your scalloped potatoes are fucked. Oh, she can hear us. She can hear us. One more time. Frig off, bird. Your scalloped potatoes are fucked. She just doesn't cook them. Enough. <laughs> Freak <Freak's> sake. <laughs> Don't get me worked up. <laughs> Anyways, I just check stuff off as we go, so I know I welcome you here. I mean, Trailside Music Hall, what a great spot. And guys, when you go into the year, and I'll make sure you check out the sign in front of you, it tells you what other things are coming in April. And girls, when you go in the bathroom, is there anything that tells you? Do you piss on it or what? Is it, do you close the door and it's on the back of the door? Is that where it is? That is effective marketing. I even saw my name on there. So that's pretty awesome. I think this place has got it going. What a beautiful place, right? So nice. Everyone can have a seat. You got a nice look. It's romantic. You got your candles there and stuff. I, I think there's a lot of boners right now. So, there's female boners and male boners in this room. And everyone's romancing. It's going to be an Easter egg hunt. You know? I mean, you know, who here has ever put a finger up your bum? Anybody? Anybody? I heard a couple ladies screaming. I guess they have. Listen, Charlottetown, if you have not put a finger up your bum lately, you should do it tonight. Happy Easter! You know, it's free. Make sure your hands are clean and, and lick your finger. Start with a small one. It's a thrill. It'll, you'll definitely... I wash your hands after. Wash. You don't want the E. coli. Because it's, that's the, that gives you the... Makes like you puke or something. It's like it's like a type of yeah. You don't want it. I think you got to go to the hospital. Is your hospital still the QE? Oh, I was there once. I had diarrhea, and they gave me uh, three IVs, and then I was okay the next day. So your doctors are good. Stick a finger in their bum for a change. Probably stick your fingers in us. Anyways, I think to get the show rolling, Shell, I think what I need is I need an assistant. I think I need somebody to help me with some duties. And, and you've got good vision. You can see what's going on here. I need someone who's not too drunk and someone who's not too high. There's somebody who, who could probably help me out on this Easter cheese bigger right picnic. Right on! See, this is what happens when you sit right in the front row. That's right. <laughs> you can be kind of drunk. It's Easter. It's Easter. How you doing? Good to meet you. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon. Everyone say hi, Brandon. Hi, Brandon. All right, Brandon. In order to be my assistant, you got to take this shirt off. You got to strip down. Summer's coming early, right? See? You get a little bit of nudity. Boy, she looks happy. Holy. Wow, Brandon. All right. Look at you. He's got a little carpet going on. Oh, it's just starting, but it's just starting. See what happens after years? <laughs> uh, and one thing I have is a very hairy butt crack. I wish it wasn't hairy. Sometimes the poop won't even come out. Uh, what? I know there's a lot of guys that have that problem. <laughs> All right, Brandon, I think you make a fine assistant. So now you're out here, you're here with your lady tonight, are you? Yeah. All right, so is this your wife or your girlfriend? Or? Oh, that's good. Los Angeles. No way, welcome. All the way here. It's a beautiful PEI. That's so awesome. How long have you guys been a, a couple? Over a year. Wow. Well, then that's it. And do you watch Trailer Park Boys together? Man, all the time. A couple that laughs together will stay together. Because life is horse cock sometimes. Right? So if you're not laughing, you're in trouble. Well, that's great. Okay, Brandon, I have some duties for you as my assistant tonight. And I, I, because you look so good, I'm going to sign you right now. He's branded by Randy now. Now he's mine for the night. 
Yeah, Brandon and Randor Brandon. What we have is a little cloth for you right here, and what that cloth is is a sweat rag, Brandon. Because I get hot, the lights are hot, and I'm moving. I need you to wipe me down, okay? <laughs> Good. Okay, get the back too. Get the back. All right. Yeah. It's like wax on, wax off. The Karate Kid. Thank you, Brandon. That's great. Now put that in your pocket. And from time to time, we might call you up because I might get sweaty and you might have to wipe me down. All right. So you go on down and enjoy your lady from LA. Boy, I'm telling you, this is pretty awesome, Brandon. Where are you from, Brandon? You from Charlottetown or? Yeah, Summerside. Summerside. Well, why did you say? Are you from Charlottetown? Yeah, Summerside. <laughs> It's a different, it's kind of over that way, you know? He lives in Texas. Holy shit. Texas is good. All right. TEI, you get around, man. You get around. Another thing that I've been doing lately over the years, you come in here, is I go to this golf tournament that you have at Mill River. It's for the, the Boys and Girls Club of Summerside. And it's a celebrity golf tournament. And do we ever have fun? And everybody that comes, all the Islanders, have a hoot. And man, can you guys golf real well. I suck. <laughs> All right. I think, show what we need to do is get this going with some music. Liven up the party a little bit. All right? You guys want some music? Yeah. Yeah. Some music at this picnic? Okay. I want to sing a song about my favorite food. What's my favorite food? Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. That's right. Now I'm going to get dressed up and see if you guys can guess who I am. All right. <laughs> And the fans, you guys are so good for, for supporting Trailer Park Boys and Randy. Check this out. A, a fan brought me this. It's a little stuffed burger toy, but he took blue jay feathers and stuffed them all to it. 
and so he just kind of gamey, kind of gamey, but like just the thoughtfulness, you know, unbelievable. Did, did you guys see when I was uh, addicted to popsicles? And I was eating all these popsicles and I was selling popsicle stick art. And of course, you had to eat the popsicle first because if you didn't, that would just be cheating. But look, a young lady made me some popsicle stick art, a little sign. It says, a man's got to eat and that's a picture of a rooster or a cock. <laughs> so she thinks that I like to eat cock and it's like cheese because 2023. But I mean, it is. It's beautiful. Just nice, small and sweet and made with love. I love that. <laughs> so I made a nice little sign here. Check this out. Mr. Leahy, Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Jim Leahy, Trailer Park Supervisor, and Randy right there. It looks just like the Sunnyvale sign. Just a smaller version, and they put a little picture of Mr. Leahy in a heart just for me. I miss you, Mr. Leahy. You're the best. And look, someone made a freaking crocheted Randy and Rip the Dick right there. Complete with a house skin shirt, and I don't got a shirt. My arm fell off, so I duct taped it back on. But I mean, that takes talent. I can barely have a poop and chew gum at the same time. And this is, these guys are making like, that's a perfect Rick the Dick right there. Freak off, Ricky. Fuck you, Andy. That's the way it goes. So anyway, I thank you, the fans. Thank you for your support over the years. It's, it's just truly, I consider myself one of the luckiest men ever. have a contest to keep this picnic going and I've been looking out there you know what we might have to go oh we might have to go deep and fun I think we should have a contest a beautiful bellies contest of Charlottetown all right so if anyone has a big belly and you want to want to win a contest or participate you know this is the time this is the time if you think you have what it takes to beat Randy uh -huh. yeah I'm Bring it up. I'm Don't be shy. We found that people in the East, this tour so far, people are a little bit shy. Bring your way up. Let me let me gauge you. Bring it up. Let's see. We want multiple contestants. We want multiple contestants. Yep, you bring it up. There are prizes, just so you know. Now we know there's got to be someone here that can beat him. Bring it up. Absolutely. Keep them coming. Do you know what it takes? Come on. Don't be shy. Bring us your best beef. Oh, yes. Sir, yes, nice. make your way to the stage, ladies and gentlemen. You're here. All right, yes. <coughs> I forgot about the part where I didn't say get naked. <laughs> but we're doing it. Actually, this is very impressive. It's true. Like, sometimes... You get just men that don't want to take it off, but obviously these guys don't get a frick. <laughs> they are showing their meat to you guys. It was a very nice day, and it's going to get even warmer this week, so this is perfect, all right? <laughs> Charlottetown, these are your beautiful bellies right here. <laughs> Trying to get some cord. All right, so... Shell and I have been doing these beautiful belly contests across North America for a long time. And right now, he, he is putting on a hazmat suit because what Shell does is he measures the girth of these bellies. With a, we have a measuring tape and whoever has the biggest belly, the biggest girth, wins the grand prize. But there are, there are runner-up prizes, guys. Don't you worry. First, second, and third. And Shell contracted a few diseases from some of the contestants and that's what he's doing he's putting on this suit to protect you individuals from him so he's got uh, he's got he's got herpes and he's got chlamydia and, uh, who here has an std yeah you do right for sure i knew you guys you guys you're they're swingers i knew it, I knew it. and you live in texas and you're definitely infested for sure for sure but anyway guys don't worry shell is like a big con you kind of look like a sperm right now shell <laughs> Swim to the egg. Swim. <laughs> hey, don't jerk him off, freaks. God, that's trouble. Bring it now. All right, so this is very good. So yes, we're gonna get a tape and we're gonna measure. All right, and these are the wonderful guys. Okay, first contestant we have is what is your name, sir? Patrick. This guy's name is Patrick, which is a very good name. Excellent name, Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Swayze. You guys know who Patrick Swayze is? Such a great actor. He was in Ghost. Ghost is so nice. 
he was in love still even though he was a ghost good old Denny Moore you know and Julian Julian did not like being called Patrick Swayze and why not because I mean Swayze, did you see him in Roadhouse so fucking sexy bro that's fucking dirty <laughs> Patrick's got a little bit of conky in him Bend over, let me see. Where is he? Is he up there? Alright, that was good. Do another one. He's the fucking man they call Ravi. Patrick, well done, sir. Holy shit. Man, that's a hard voice to do, the conky. And, uh, and, and Bubbles was possessed as conky. I'm glad that that friggin' puppet is in the bottom of a ravine or whatever the fuck it's in. I don't know if it's in a pond or a lake or something. Who knows? All right, Patrick. Arms up in the air. Shell's going to come in and measure your girth. How big do you think it is? 42? 44? 37? No. What's bigger than that? Push it up, Patrick. Nice nipples. 43 and a quarter. Very good. Very good start. You come on down here and wait it out. All right. Oh, man. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. All right. I'm getting excited up here. Oh, that. Okay, what's your name, sir? Donald. Donald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Donald. How are you doing, Donald? I'm awesome. You're awesome. Who'd you come with? Uh, my sister and her boyfriend. Ah, where are they at? <laughs> You're drunk. Are you on crystal math? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else here on the math tonight? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Do math, jeez. It's Easter. No, All right, you look good. Your nipples are beautiful. Really good nipples. You jiggle just nice. Oh yeah, tattoos. I just look a little tiny butt on them. Look, tiny little buds. I do. I do very much so. Frill. STDs are going to be going around, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Shell, we're going to have a threesome with him. <laughs> All right, arms up in the air. Let's see. Oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. Shell, get right in there. Get that love handle there. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, this part's nice. Push her up. Push her up. 46 and a half. 46 and a half. You did well, Patrick. You did well. Thanks for that conky impression. Well done. Well done. All right. Third contestant on Beautiful Bellies here at Charlton. What's your name? Roger. Roger. You say it that way all the time? Roger. You don't just say Roger? No. It's Roger. What's your last name? Langley. Langley. Roger Langley. And where are you from? Uh, down in Cardigan. Cardigan. Where the frick's that? I know I've probably been there. Uh, just before Monarchy and before Surrey, right? Okay. All right, all right. You got any brothers? Uh, yeah, one. What's his name? Aiden. Aiden. Yep. <laughs> what's your dad's name? Brenton. Brenton. Right. Your mom's name? Jennifer. 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 All right. You don't got any sisters? I got three. Three? Okay, what are their names? Chloe, Brooklyn, and Bree. Chloe, Brooklyn, and Bree. Yep. All right, all right. Okay, what do you do for a living? I'm a diesel mechanic. Ooh. That made me hard. <laughs> You're a man. You are a true man. All right, what's your favorite episode of Channel Park Boys? I mean, there's too many to pick from. Well, fuck, man. You're not supposed to say that. See? Something good. Cheeseburger picnic? Yep, Anyone here see the cheeseburger picnic episode? Brandon? Roger? I've met too many people. <laughs> Alright, Roger. Arms up in the air. Roger. Your nipples are extra cool. The hair stops growing right there. Look. What the fuck? What are you doing? Too much diesel. Oh, sure, Roger. 51 inches. Roger, my man. All right. So far, you stay. It's good. You have what? Good. That was good. 
46 and a quarter? And a quarter? All right, okay. Something tells me you guys have got competition. I'm just going to say. Okay, I just have to say. So how you doing today? What's your name? Tristan. Tristan. Everyone say, hi, Tristan. Hi, Tristan. Tristan, I see you got a bass pro shop. Do you like to fish? Yep. Yeah. What do you like fishing for? Uh, bass, trout. Right here on the island? Yep. There's bass on in the Is it striped bass? Yep. 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 I remember seeing the Muppet Show and there was this one skit where they're like, yep. <laughs> or no, I was freaking, that was Sesame Street. Too old for you, bud. Way too old. Where the phone rang. We're like, ring. Okay. Anyone old ever see that skit? <laughs> you guys aren't old. You look young as great. Yeah. Oh, shall do it. All right. What was your name again? Tristan. Tristan, Tristan. That sounds like an elf name. <laughs> He's not very elven. But this is good. This is a good belly. I like the, what, what are you, where'd you get these pants? Uh, Old Navy. Nice. On sale? Probably. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. And what do you do for a living? Uh, I work on the wharf buying lobsters. Oh, buying lobsters? Uh, do you eat lobster? Uh, no, I don't like lobster. What in the frame? <laughs> Tristan! <laughs> A lobster roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rather... <sighs> <laughs> Tabernacle. <laughs> but that's okay. It's kind of weird. There's a lot of people on the East Coast. We're so close to the ocean. We don't like seafood. It's really weird. I think you're fucked. <laughs> but I love it. I'll come and eat all your lobsters. Can you give me a deal on lobster? <laughs> my stepfather. Uh, my stepfather. What's his name? Alan. Alan. Like it. Okay, Shell, get right in. Get right into Tristan. Arms up. This looks like it's bigger than 53 inches, okay? All right, I'll help you put it around. Now, how big do you think this belly is? I think it's 58? 68? No, it's not. No, 60. Well, maybe it is. Push her out there, man. Push her right out there. 58. 58, close 10 inches off. That's right. 58 inches, high five, Tristan. That was well done. You are the winner. You are the winner here tonight of Charlottetown's beautiful big bellies. I don't like shirts because I'm allergic and I get rashes. But I did, did find this shirt, and this is some Randy art for Tristan right there. There's a cheeseburger. And it's signed by Randy. It's like a double XL. It, it might fit you if you suck your belly in, buddy. <laughs> All right? That's it, guys. Oh. <laughs> Roger. Roger, the diesel mechanic. You were second. You get a spatula, a burger flipper. It says, a man's got a biggie because I fucked it up. I was, hot and I was thinking about other big things. Anyway, that's for you, buddy. That's to flip your burgers. All right, congrats. Donald, Donald you get some uh, high quality used lotion from the hotel. Um, signed by Randy. It's, it'll make your hands soft and other things really slippery. Uh, trust me, I've used it. It's great. Thank you, Dad. Well done. Well done. Let's hear it for those beautiful bellies and everyone that came up here. Oh, awesome. Well done. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that hazmat suit is hot. Just so you know, here, Shell, grab that big tape for a sec. Oh. We got to show you guys something here. You know what? We come prepared because sometimes guys are bigger than one tape, so we have a bigger tape. It's a tape taped together to another tape with tape. <laughs> and. We are going to show you how big the biggest belly we've ever measured is. Oh. I'll grab this. All right, here it is, right here, man. This is it. What? We're over there. Oh. 84 inches. Ironside. Oh. Ironside? Iron Mountain, Michigan. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Sick. So I am 5 feet 9 inches tall, which is... 69 inches. Yeah, that's nice. 69 inches. So that guy was actually bigger around than I am tall. So you know what? We all come in different shapes and sizes. 
And it's amazing, because here we had a bunch of guys come up, they ripped their shirts right off without even being asked. We got some real good nudity here on Easter Sunday. And on Charlottetown, you guys, PEI, you just sat there and was like, yeah, woo, cheer, and everything was good. There was no booze. You guys are lovers, you're not haters. And I, I don't like haters. I say we say frig off haters on the count of three. One, two, three. Frig off haters. Because you know what? We all got to be comfortable in our own skins, right? Got to be comfortable. We got to love ourselves. And, and when we do that, we can love other people. Otherwise, you won't be able to. And it's we got something about us. Everyone has something about ourselves that we don't like. Like I mentioned my hairy butt crack. I don't like that because of all the Klingons. But it's, it's the way it goes. But I still love myself. And that means that I can be a good, loving man. So that's good. I love you, Charlotte Town. That was great. This is what I'm talking about. It's wonderful. Wonderful. I think we need a little drink. You guys, Charlotte Town. Cheers. Cheers. Shell, I thought you did a real good job, Edger, too. Oh, yeah. Except that, uh, no, I'm not done yet. And you know what? These, these lights here, they're pretty good. They make you look good. I like that cowboy shirt you're wearing. And you, you sort of look like that that um, that guy in the movies, Iron Man. You look like um, Tony Stark. He looks like Tony Stark, like the Robert Downey Jr. guy. That is good. Tony Stark. I love Iron Man. I love those fantasy movies. And, and Tony Stark was so smart. But Shell, he's dumb as fuck, unfortunately. <laughs> he can't add very well, and he's done, his English is horrible, but he's a good musician. He can play trombone, ukulele. From Alberta? I called you dumb you know as fuck! <laughs> That's what I called you. You got me right in the fucking feelings. Right by everybody. I'm sorry, Shal. I'm sorry I called you dumb as fuck, and I'm sorry that you look like AJ from the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Two famous people on stage here. Fake sakes. Shell, come on now. We got things to do here at the trail side, right? Shell, come on, everybody. Shell, 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 shell. Don't give us the finger, it's Easter Sunday. Freak's sakes. I really pissed them off, I think. Whoop! Oh. Fuck! It's a muscle shell. <laughs> Muscles here are really good, just so you know. They taste great on a cheeseburger. Oh. All right, I'm going to get him back here, okay? You guys help me get him back here. You can help me with this. <clears throat> you are my fire, the one desire. Be me when I say. I want it that way Tell me why Nothing but a heartache Tell me 
You're down there with your lady all drunk up. Oh, yeah. You know something? Friends are hard to come by, and I kind of, well, I turned into an arsehole for a minute there. I was kind of mean and bullying to my buddy Shell. And you know what? Sometimes if you're mean to a friend, you're just going to say you're sorry, right? And make up, because we need friends. We can't be alone in this world, right? And, uh, I mean, same thing goes for relatives. Like, sometimes, you know, you're bonded by blood. You know, so why why be in a fight with your father or with your brother when you could just, you know, say, look, let's forget about this and make up like we're family, you know? I mean, my uncle friggin' Cecil, he finger blasted me when I was like 12. And I said, keep your fingers to yourself, you friggin' cunt. And he, he never touched me again. So you gotta stand up for yourself. You can't just take shit. You can't. You can't. You gotta stand up. And if you, you know what? You might be scared, but sometimes you gotta just take a deep breath. And you know what? You know what? Everything's okay. That's the whole thing. But if you don't say nothing, then, that, then you, everyone thinks it's friggin' okay. And it's not friggin' okay. You know? Sometimes you gotta speak up, right, Charlottetown? Don't take shit. And you gotta be happy. And you gotta love one another and be kind to one another, right? That's the thing. Holy frick, it's hot. It's hot here. Maybe I'm having a hot flash. I'm 54 years old now. Getting gray hairs and gray friggin' chest hairs and gray scrotum hairs. My scrotum's hanging down to the ground, low. Lower and lower every year. Any guys here have low hanging scrotum? Dude? No? You're, she's pointing at you. <laughs> you know, you can get those those sacks underwear or whatever. They're expensive though. Right? You know, I don't know. I think sometimes maybe we should say frigate. They should come up with sags. And just <laughs> let it hang out. And say fuck it. You know, ten bucks for sags. But. My whole scrotum has been hanging down low. That's why I wear two pairs of tidy whiteies these days, double the elastics. But I'm hot. I gotta take a pair off. Probably do some more dancing and more singing. What do you think, everybody? Yeah, right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Charlottetown Randy's Cheeseburger Picnic Underwear Auction. Oh. I'm selling these motherfuckers. I need mental help. <laughs> I need fucking therapy. We're just not there yet in the medical system yet. All right, who wants these? Here's the scoop. Cash. Cash is king. People are going to hold up cheeseburgers. They're going to hold up Dairy Queen coupons. They're going to hold up joints. We want to see cold hard cash. I want to see cold hard cash in the air. We are going to start the bidding off. You put the cash in the air. You scream out how much it is. It's an auction. We're going to start the bidding off at $20. Who's going to be $20? Someone's going to be $20. We're starting with, we got $20 in the back right there. Someone's going to be $40. Who's going to be $40? Uh, actually, let's go $30. Somebody go, going to be $30. $30, someone's going to be $30. Who's going to be $30? Speckle be there in the front of the bubble. Hold on, let's see. Who's gonna be 30? Somebody we got 30 at the back right there, someone gonna be 40. Who's gonna be 40? Got 40 at the back there again. Somebody gonna be 50. Who's gonna be 50 dollars? We're up to 40 right now. It's pretty Shot good. Gotta go. 40. That's what I'm doing. Spuckle V Hold on, let's see. There's a hole, there's a hole. For fuck's sake. Okay. We're gonna start bidding off. Somebody gonna be 60. Somebody gonna be 60 right now. Is anybody gonna be 60? I can't see right now. 
Fucking lights. Oh, there we go. Great. Oh, that was deep. Okay, we got 50 going once in the back. 50 going twice. Guy in the white hat. So, bring her up. You just sold used underwear for 50 bucks? <laughs> yep. <laughs> or maybe it was 40. It was 40, wasn't it? Yeah, 40. Bring it up. 40 bucks, bud. What? That's right, man. It's part of the job. It's part of the fucking job. Who spends $40? Bring 40 bucks up. He will sign them on your body. Who spends 40 bucks on piss dribbling underwear? <laughs> this guy. This guy. Yeah. All right. Donnie. No. Not Donnie. What's your name, sir? Hunter. Good to meet you. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Yes. Hunter is your local drug dealer, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no one else has forty dollars of disposable income. I'm freaking these. These might have shit on them. Hunter, what are you gonna do with these? I'm hang them up on my wall. <laughs> I might hang them up on my wall. I might wear them. All right, here, turn around. You want the front or the back sign? That's this is really greasy. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's the drug dealer. <laughs> Probably better than the freaking government stuff. Oh. I don't know. I don't, just, I don't think you're supposed to try to sell underwear on Easter. Don't eat it. <laughs> Do not yeah. Actually you should probably get yourself checked After touching those <laughs> Alright I need a drink of food Here we go Drink your food to you guys Drink your food, drink your food all around okay. I got some freaking questions for you guys I gotta, I gotta ask if you guys are doing okay, because I have to sort of do my due diligence. These are my duties, right? How's everybody doing? You guys here, you guys okay? All right, in, the, in this swath right here down the center from me, you guys all right? Everyone's okay, getting your drinks and stuff, you're good? Everyone over here, you guys all okay? Way in the back, way back there, can you hear me okay? Everything's good? You can see my belly? It's all good? Did you guys know I can wiggle my tits? <laughs> How long do you want me to do it? <laughs> the only other muscles I have. Is a penis a muscle? Or is it cartilage? What is a penis? Is there a doctor in the house? I think I just heard a lady just say, what is a penis? And she said, beautiful. So, are you here with your husband? Raise your hand, husband. From now on, you are Mr. Beautiful Penis. Damn, you're lucky. There's no, it's too big, or no, it's too small, too skinny, too thick. It's just beautiful. Holy fuck. This one is fucked, this one. Does your wife ever say that to you, Shell, that you have a beautiful penis? <laughs> I feel left out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have some announcements to make. You guys want to hear some announcements? Yeah. Okay, I want to know if you guys have ever heard of SwearNet, the app. It's an app on your smartphone. All right, or SwearNet.com. Anybody here? You guys know what I'm talking about? For those of you that don't, you can go on the App Store and go on SwearNet, and you, for two bucks a month, you can get all kinds of Trailer Park Boys footage. All right, you get to see the podcast they do every week, Park After Dark. 
and you get to see like a season of jail. And by the way, we are filming the second season of Trailer Park Boys Jail right now, another 10 episodes as we speak. It's being filmed not on Easter weekend, but on Tuesday or Monday, I guess, yeah, we don't have Monday off. The, everyone will be filming, so that there's some interesting shit there. There's also a show called The Roach Approach on there with a really handsome actor, 130 episodes. And uh, we got a new Randy show called Randy's Reach. It's about me opening up a diner out of a friggin' trailer in Sunnyvale Trailer Park, so it's quite nice. Check it out. Now, has anyone here heard of Mr. Leahy's book called The Dick Shitinary? Right there, Mr. Leahy wrote a book, this beautiful black book called The Dick Shitinary. Dick Shitinary. A to Z, all about shit. And his daughter, Sarah, you guys know Sarah on Trailer Park Boys? Sarah reprinted them and is selling them. So if you go to johndunsworth.com, once again, johndunsworth.com, you can order these dictionaries and Sarah will sign one and send it to you. And it would make a great Mother's Day or Father's Day gift, a stocking stuffer, because it's just real funny. You guys want me to read a poem from it? This is right from Mr. Lay here. And this one is called A Shit Friend. Okay. A Shit Friend. A Shit Friend is a friend in need. You can measure his friendship by the depth of his greed. A shit friend never can lend a hand whenever you try to take a stand and tell him he's just a pile of shit. He'll wiggle his shit way out of it. But know in your heart that some fine day, a shit wind will come and blow him away. Right there, the dictionary at johndunsworth.com. So check that out. And all the proceeds help the family everywhere. And last but not least, did you guys know that we're making two new Trailer Park Boys movies? That's right, I'm making one with Bubble starting in June this year, and then there's going to be another one that's being made in, say, the fall and the spring. So you guys are going to have some new shit to watch. How's that sound? The only thing I wish is that my good old buddy Philadelphia Collins was going to be in it. Because Phil Collins loved cheeseburgers as much as me, and you know something? Yeah, he passed away, and it's, it's just it's really sad. I think we should do a shout out to Phil. What do you think? I think we should do a band for Phil, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to get our hands up, all right? You got to flip your hand, like do the, the bulk and live long and prosper, and then dip your hand down and flap it, all right? So arms up in the air, get your flapping going with flapping. We'll start on this side and work our way across the room. On the count of three, we'll bam. Here we go. One, two, three. Bam! Peanut butter and <laughs> Pontiac made the trans. <laughs> Try one, Chell. It's fun. Try one. Uh, uh, new car. Uh, Ford. Ford. Ford made the Ford. Fuck. <laughs> no, you're doing fifths. Fifths. You gotta stick with amps. Amps. Oh, get in the back of my Dodge 1500 and. It's pretty graphic. <laughs> Sam Lost goes a cave. <laughs> Phil Combs, everybody, thank you. Feeling it, I'm feeling it, yeah. I'm feeling another game. That's what keeps a cheeseburger picnic going. So. Yeah. I need some people to come play a game. <laughs> now, you know what? We had some really good looking fellas come up for that big belly, beautiful belly contest. That was awesome. I think we need to get some ladies. We can't leave the ladies out. Or, or maybe what we should do is couples. Partners. Anybody come with their partner tonight? Who wants to who wants to participate in the game? You know what? I'm gonna pick three different three different people groups, and we'll get you up if you want to play. Raise your hand if you want to play. I'll come down. You two can. You just did it. That was quick. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. You've been you've been you've been having too much fun. Oh, I see some pretty greasy people here. Oh, you're greasy. Real greasy. I love it. Here's <laughs> 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 
You know what? I think that men have it really good in this world. And the reason is, is because we get jerked off all the time. And I think that ladies get ripped off because men don't know how to service you the proper way. And uh, I think tonight, to switch things up, we should have these, these men jerk off their ladies. That's what I think we're gonna do. Now, it's not that bad. It's not the X-rated show, everybody, okay? What we have is we have little balloon pumpers here, little air pumpers. And uh, I don't know, maybe we should get the guys down on their knees, shall we? Get the guys right down. Well, you know, because that's, that's a forgiving, almost like they could propose, right? And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna pump these balloons, all right? And they're gonna pump them up and they're all gonna probably blow up at certain times. And whoever blows up the balloon and pops it the first wins the grand prize, but there is a second place and a third place. Now, contestants, you might think that the real fast jerk is the way to go, but that's not it. Sometimes it's the slow and firm stroke, right? That way, right? And you sort of build it. That will build the air up. If you jerk the shit, you might rip her clit right off. Please keep your partner's vaginas intact, all right? So now, are the contestants ready? Is everybody ready? You got good grips. Audience, are you ready? We're gonna start on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. As you can see, the fast jerk at the end is totally fucked. There's nothing going on. Semi-fast, but with a good long stroke, is going good. Holy shit, you're almost taking her thigh off. All right. She's doing some sort of a rotation thing on the penis. I don't know what the frig is going on. Okay, now the guy on the end, it's going. It's getting longer. Looks like there's a foreskin on that balloon. All right. Shell's in the middle. He's helping out. He's trying to be a threesome. All right, now. Here we go. You were doing good in the beginning. Now, oh, he ripped the head off the cock. This guy, slow, good strokes. Look. Okay, hold. People in the middle have never jerked off before. Whoa. Okay, all right, dude. I know you must be drunk. You got too many Easter eggs. Sorry, yours was stabbed to lose, but I couldn't. I had to give it to you. It was unfair. We gave him the long balloon. That's tough. That's tough. But you guys are very good jackers. PEI, good at masturbation. That's what we're all about. All right, we have some prizes for you folks. Okay. Chad and Molly. Okay, so Molly, well, the prize we have for you for being in first is a pair of ladies tidy whities <laughs> And I drew a cheeseburger and signed Randy on the other side, and that will help keep you keep you warm in the friggin' PEI winter. That's for you. And Chad, right? Chad, for you, you get a Mr. Lady and Randy. We did a little show on swearing at the, the, the Mr. Leahy and Randy. The, or it says the Mr. Leahy show with Randy. Fuck. Anyway, it's a lighter leash, all right? This here goes on your belt loop. You put your cigarette lighter in there, and it pulls out on a cord so no one will steal it when you're trying to light your joint. There you go, buddy. High five. Well done. Woo, tickle your belly. Good jerking. I like it. <laughs> Daniel and Taylor, second place, you get a complete barbecue set for this. A Balls Horse Cock spatula and a Frig, or sorry, Frig Off spatula and a Balls Horse Cock oven mitt. You guys can decide who gets what. Have fun barbecuing. Nice. Good to meet you. Sean and Jennifer, alright. You guys are going to love this. Yeah. <laughs> 
You guys get some fine quality tea and coffee from the hotel. This is like some English breakfast coffee and this is decaf horse cock. And I don't know what this creamer is. I think you could probably keep bugs off your potatoes with this thing. Right there, that's for you guys. Enjoy, happy Easter, there you go. Well done. Surprise Roger was born. I mean, he can't even bring a jerky. Probably only in for eight seconds. <laughs> Maybe we should do the X-rated show next. <laughs> Just turn the lights out. <laughs> Listen now, quiet. <laughs> it's real quiet and awkward. Oh dear. I do think we should probably do something dirty, don't you? That was almost everybody going, Whoa! I don't care that it's Easter Sunday. Come on, dear. I'm telling you, unbelievable. You know, it's good. Well, I think we did pretty good. I mean, you know, you guys get to see some nudity tonight. You got to see people getting jerked off. Some cheeseburgers were given up. And we had some fun and had some laughs. You know, I mean, Sunnyvale Trailer Park is very crazy, you know? And especially on the weekends, and I know because I'm the weekend trailer park supervisor, and I've seen some shit, right? Like J Rock and the Rock Pile. They are complete. What are you laughing at? You guys don't like J Rock and the Rock Pile, right? Don't be brat me. Brat. J Rock is an idiot. Friggin', you know, looks at me and makes fun of me, calls me freaking cheeseburger eating walrus. One time he said, you got 1.21 gigaguts, which is a, a reference from the Back to the Future movies, which I love. And freaking, he's making fun of me. And, and you know what? He's singing raps. This one rap, it can happen to you, it can happen to me. You know what happened? He got caught jerking off. He's making a jerking off. That was the Said he's looking so for change. So yeah. Frick's sake, J Rock. <laughs> but yeah, shit, it's the fan. I mean, I live with Ricky, Ricky lives in a car without a door. <laughs> well, he's got a trailer now, but I mean, that trailer's been a hockey rink, and it's, they, they play space in the middle of the day, shooting off rockets, getting drunk and high. You know, I have to break that shit up. I remember I asked Bubbles if the rocket would fly, and he said, you know what he said? The tin man of a sheet metal cock. That's what he said. You guys know who Bubbles is, right? Can you guys do Bubbles? Can you go... <laughs> <laughs> I know Patrick could do conky. <laughs> Freaking conky. Unbelievable. But yeah. Anyway, you know what? At the end of the day, Sunnyvale is a nice place, you know? If people do pay their lot fees eventually and we try to get along. And if, if I didn't have any cheeseburgers, I could go to Bubbles and he'll give me one of his burgers. And I I hate to do it, but I will share my personal burgers sometimes. You know, and it's like you got to look after one another. And I think PEI's done that. You know, like the hurricane that came through here and it hit Nova Scotia that came through here. And then you guys had to pull together because you guys got hit the worst out of everything. And that was a friggin' horse cocksucker. I say we say cocksucker on the count of three. One, two, three. Cocksucker. But hey, we're all here today and you guys all pulled together. And I, I mean, I saw that the whole bunch of power trucks from everywhere around came and helped put shit back together. It was friggin' hurricanes. Friggin', they shouldn't call them like Hurricane Martha. They should call them like Hurricane Cockface. They should. It should be, you know, Hurricane, get your fucking shit put away or you might fucking lose everything. You know, like, like don't candy coat it. Don't say Hurricane Louise. Jeez, uh, you know what? Louise is nice. Hurricanes are cunts. But, you know, it's, it's, it's been good and it's been 20 years, friggin'. Trailer Park Boys been going on, and uh, those cameras have been following Julian around, you know. And it's it's now we're in 182 countries because of Netflix around the world, and everyone seen me in my underwear. Yeah. People, people think about it, and, and I, I don't, maybe everyone thinks Nova Scotia is totally like Sunnyvale Trailer Park everywhere you go, and it, it isn't everywhere you go. It's not, but it's you know what? It, it warms our hearts. 
and people say, boy, you know, we watched the trailer park boys and, you know, it got me through some hard times. Sometimes when, you know, I was down on my luck or, you know, maybe someone passed away or some, you know, like some, like a lot of sick people, a lot of military individuals who were over fighting in, in Afghanistan and in Iraq and like, uh, you know, it was just us living our lives at Sunnyvale, you know, and uh, apparently people found us funny, even though we were just trying to be us. And it's, it is flattering, and I'm glad to know that, you know, thanks for laughing with us, everybody. That's the whole friggin' thing. Thanks for clapping. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! And we've had a lot of crazy individuals come through Sunnyvale. Like, before, when you guys were coming in here, have, getting your seats and stuff, we had a little little uh, music playing, and that's a Spotify playlist, a uh, Trailer Park Boys uh, playlist. So it's got, like, you know... Dirty Dancing on there because poor Julian and being made fun of Dirty Dancing. But, you know, like we had like Rush, uh, Alex Lyson from Rush came through Sunnyvale Trailer Park. Ricky kidnapped the poor guy. And I mean, he's a, there you go. There he is. Playing. Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. Rush. And so they came to Sunnyvale. You know, another guy that we had come through Sunnyvale, his name was Sebastian Bach from Skid Row. And he bought a big oil tank of, of friggin' Ricky's honey oil. It tasted like maple syrup because Trevor, or sorry, Corey freaked it up. I never got any of that oil, unfortunately. But he, he was pretty awesome. And, and then we had um, um, the Tragically Hip came through Sunnydale. And Gord Downey. What a great guy Gord is. We miss him. You know, and uh, used, used his music in the movies and stuff. And uh, it, it's just unbelievable these geniuses and they I know I feel kind of sad I know we're supposed to be jumping up and down and laughing you know but we did also have Snoop Dogg come through Sunnyvale a big rap star you know and and he smokes more dope than Ricky he really does but he was a genuine nice guy that's right you know so what we get drunk you like to smoke we smoke you know whatever it's true we just, just don't do crystal meth and cocaine right Stick to the green shit. You'll be okay. But yeah, Snoop Dogg was awesome. I got to got to talk to him, and and I said, you know what? I wish he could teach me a few things about rap, and he did. Actually, you guys want to hear my little rap? Okay. The first thing that Snoop Dogg said to me he said, Randy said you need to get some bling, right? So I went. And I, got, I got this. This is the dollar sign bling, right? Right there. Because you gotta look like you got the money, and that's it. Now, actually, Shell. We should get these guys. Maybe they can do the chorus. Okay, you guys gotta ha help out Randy, okay? Repeat after me. That shit stain, Ricky, the shit spark. That shit stain, Ricky, the shit spark. Nice, with the bouncing ball now. That shit stain, Ricky, the shit spark. That shit stain, Ricky, the shit spark. Nice, scream that on the chorus. Are you ready? I am, are you gonna I'm do ready. your beatbox? I'm gonna do my beatbox. Oh, good, you do okay. a good beatbox. <laughs>
Charlottetown PEI. Unbelievable. I want to thank you for coming to Randy's Cheeseburger Picnic. Yes. At Trailside Musical right here. I just can't believe it. I want to thank you for supporting Trailer Park Boys. I got to thank all the staff here at this wonderful place for getting us drinks, feeding us food, taking care of us, and taking care of you. Because if it isn't a good place, you can't have a picnic. It doesn't work that way. And I got to thank you guys, the fans of Trailer Park Boys for coming out here and also for supporting Randy. It's just Randy here and he came out to see me. So thank you, Charlottetown. Unbelievable. I hope you have a good time. I hope you have a good Easter. Be safe, be happy, and thanks again for all the support. It's awesome. You warm my heart. Thank you. All right, who got a meet and greet? <laughs> <laughs> check one, two, check one, two. <laughs>